When I looked at this question, I was thinking, wow, I'm going to need a lot of creativity to answer this question. But then when I actually tried answering it, I realized that it's so, so, so easy, right? I think the mistake most people do with this kind of questions, uh, they look at it, it looks intimidating, and they just leave it. Uh, Sometimes, you know, just try the question and see what happens. So here, yeah, the question is saying, calculate the value of y if... Uh, this expression here plus this expression is equals to this expression and then I realize very quick that uh, this is the sums right so I can just calculate uh, s1 being that sum there and then plus s2 being this sum here and then I equate it to s3 being that sum there right i've not broken any rule in math so that should work out and then let me show you what happened so s1 is the first sum let's see what happens when i calculate that so that will be equals to uh we can see that uh we go in from one to five right so you substitute one into the equation substitute two until you substitute five right so if i substitute one uh the equation is gonna be so we have p is equals to one right so four y remains as it is and then plus three p uh we know that uh, p is equals to one so this will just be plus three right and then now i can add the second term because for a sum you add in the terms right uh, assuming the sum is finite and then now p is equals to two we're going to have four y plus three multiplied by two because now p is equals to two right so we're going to have four y plus six plus 4y again plus 3 multiplied by now p is 3 right 3 multiplied by 3 that is 9 so for the full term we're going to have 4y plus 3 multiplied by 4 which is 12 and then plus 4y uh, plus 3 multiplied by 5 which is 15 so now we are just adding uh, all these terms together and we have s1 i want you to realize something now we have 4y 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 and 4y right we have five 4y's so uh, the sum of that will be the same as 4y multiplied by 5 and then we have 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 right uh, we group in the like terms so to say so 3 plus 6 that is 9 right and then plus this 9 here that will be 18 and then 18 plus 12 that will be 30 and then 30 plus 15 that will be 45 so we have 4y multiplied by 5 plus 45 and that will be equals to 4 multiplied by 5 that is 20 so we have 20y plus 45 and we have our first sum now we can move ahead and calculate our second sum right you should realize now that yeah this question is not that difficult it just looks scary so the first term right we substitute in k is equal to 4 until we get to 7 so we're going to have 3 multiplied by uh, 2 to the power k minus 1 so we have 4 minus 1 and then let's move to the second term plus again 3 multiplied by 2 to the power now we have 5 minus 1 right we're moving up until we get to 7 plus uh, 3 multiplied by 2 into 6 minus 1 and then plus uh, 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 7 minus 1 here we don't have any variable right so you can just put this entire expression on your calculator and get the answer right so the answer here is going to be uh, 360 so now we have s1 s2 let's find uh, s3 so s3 uh, we're going from j is equals to 1 to j is equals to infinity so if we go into infinity we obviously cannot um calculate the individual terms right because we'll never really go to infinity in any case what is infinity right uh equation for another day uh, so here uh we have the equation being uh the equation is one divided by three to the j minus one right so the first term of the sequence right 
Uh, so let's say A. So A here is going to be equals to uh, 1 divided by 3 to the power G minus 1. G is 1, right? So we're going to have 1 minus 1 uh, being equals to 1 divided by 3 to the power 0. Any number to the power 0, we know that is equals to 1, right? So the first term here, A, is equals to 1. And then from there on, what is the common ratio? The common ratio is 1 divided by 3, right? So we have a diverging geometric sequence here. And then to concrete the sum of that, we're going to have A divided by 1 minus r right but then what is the value of a a is equals to 1 so this is going to be uh, 1 divided by 1 minus the common ratio which is 1 divided by 3 if you put that in your calculator you should be getting 3 divided by 2 and then now uh, let's finish our problem i'm just going to uh, finish the equation here right like we've said s1 plus s2 should be equals to s3 what is s1 s1 is here right um 20y plus 45 s2 is here 360 so we have plus 360 and then s3 is 3 divided by 2. So if we want to find y, uh, we are going to say that 20y is equals to 3 divided by 2 minus 45 minus 360. Right? Now we divide both signs by 20. So we're going to get y is equals to um, this entire term uh, divided by 20, right? Divided by 20. And then here we're also dividing by 20. So y is going to be equals to minus 20.175. Uh,